continuing with the monostable arrangement of the flip-flop uh, if you haven't watched the bistable I'll provide some links to the first video I made with the basics about flip-flops and uh, so the monostable I'll first show you guys uh, what this actually does so you can see and then we'll go into the schematics basically I only change a few components around and when I press the switch you can see that this goes on and it's going to turn off yeah so basically what you made here is a timed switch now you can go make bombs or whatnot no i'm just kidding uh if you the time constant here depends on two things the resistance and the capacitance i'll um, show you in a bit so i put a smaller capacitor and you can see that there's a much smaller time constant so let's see on how this thing is wired up and how it works um all I did here is change a minute, change around two things. First of all, the base is not connected to the collector anymore. It's connected through 100k ohm directly to the power supply. And uh, from the base, you can see here it's connected to the base. This is connected through a cap, a bipolar cap, to the collector. Uh, now, how this works, I'm not entirely sure, but after reading about it and poking around my voltmeter in different places, I came to an explanation. So uh, this circuit will start in this state because here you have the base of Q2 connected through 100K directly, and uh, which will put this uh, transistor in saturation. And since this is a forward uh, di diode drop, then this part is gonna be at 0 0.7. So 0.7 volts. So this uh, side of the capacitor, if I pencil here, this is going to be at 0 0.7 volts. All right, and uh, this collect uh, this transistor is going to be off. So the collector is going to be high, and this part is going to be at almost nine volts. This um, the side of the capacitor. Now, what happens if I press press the push push switch? If I press the push switch, then uh, I supply a lot of current to the base, which turns this transistor on. And when it does, the collector goes low. And this uh, side of the capacitor now becomes point something volts. And what that does to the other side, it, it pulls this side of the capacitor down to a negative uh, voltage. What my voltmeter told me that it goes down to about minus seven volts, all right? Uh, now, when this is at minus seven volts, then the base is at minus seven volts, which uh, in effect completely shuts down this transistor. And now this is, uh, this part is at minus seven volts, and when it tr what it tries to do is through this 100K resistor, tr it tries to charge up to zero volts, or uh, maybe more, I think. And uh, this is basically the delay that you have when it charges up uh, and reaches about zero volts and it goes a bit higher, then this base, um, this transistor starts turning on again. And when it does, then it shuts this transistor down. So that's basically the monostable state of the flip flop. Uh, now we can do something even cooler. Um, yeah, we have the bi, uh, the a stable state, and uh, let me find the bi stable. And the only difference of this uh, between the the buy stable and the A stable is that we have uh, just caps right here. We just added really small ceramic caps, as you can see here, right? And uh, just give me a second. I'll need to wire this up so I can show you guys some disco lights. I'll just put back the base resistor so we have our by stable and now i already have this ready here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna fit in the two caps like so and uh disco it's oscillating and we call this the A stable because it has no A stable states, it just oscillates, right? And uh, the frequency of this, 
determined, of course, by the base resistors and the capacity, uh, the capac uh, the capacitors of the capacitors, or at least I think so. And um, yeah, you guys can build it, try it out, screw around, screw around with it uh, some more, see what cool things you can come up with it. Now, uh, what I did, I um. I'm gonna show you the circuit that I built using a flip flop. Actually, I'm gonna today or tomorrow. I'm gonna be making uh, another video demonstrating on how this thing works and what it actually does. Actually, I'm gonna give you guys a quick demonstration of what this little guy does. Just gonna hook him up. Two nine volts. We're gonna put in the projectile. Yeah, so this is basically it. And uh, when I switch it on, actually, wait. All right, now what happens here? When I, uh, when I press the button, the capacitor starts charging up and it fires out this bullet when it's fully charged. And this is done using a uh, flip flop. Yeah, small ejaculation there. And uh, I'll be making another video and showing you guys how that thing works. This is a schematic for it. Um, I learned a ton of stuff by just, you know, building this guy. It looks pretty complicated maybe, but it is actually simple on how it works. So uh, watch my next video. I'll uh, provide links in this video somewhere down in the description. And uh, good luck with your disco lights.